There are new concerns over the fallout of a chemical explosion. In Crosby, Texas, about 25 miles northeast of Houston, police have evacuated a wide area around the facility due to some dangerous fumes, what they have called dangerous fumes. Arkema, the French operator of the plant, says the fire was caused by the degradation of chemicals, which lost refrigeration after power failed during Harvey's rains. They expect to see more explosions. Earlier, David Begno spoke to an Arkema executive called it toxic, there's an evacuation zone. So what is it about that and the mixture? Well, we were, the concern is that when these things degrade, okay. they generate heat. Right. When they generate heat, they can burn. Sure. When they burn, if they burn aggressively, you can have an explosion. We wanted to remove people from any potential hazard or risk for a potential explosion. So the discussions took place with the Harris County Fire Marshal's office and we established, they established the one and a half mile evacuation zone. Kenneth Craig joins us now. He is in Crosby. We heard about that evacuation zone. Kenneth, what's the situation there right now? Well, Dana, I can tell you there's a lot of uncertainty here. Residents really don't know what to make of this. That evacuation zone is a mile and a half. Uh, it starts right down this roadway, which is why we are here. You drive to the end of this road and you meet, you come to the end, and there's a deputy there who essentially is telling uh, everybody to turn around. There are roadblocks set up all around uh, this plant as these possible explosions and fires continue uh, throughout the day. When we were down at the end of this road, we were standing there by the deputy, and, and a guy drives up to his car and says, What's going on here? We're being told different stories. Is this dangerous? Is this not dangerous? Do I need to leave? Do I need to stay? Do you need to expand the evacuation zone? I talked to another woman just a few minutes ago, and she's like, you know, the first thing we had was flooding. Then we had to move our animals. Then we had to evacuate our home, and now we're dealing with uh, this chemical explosion and these fires, and we don't know if the air is safe or not. And, and do we have any clarification on that? Because FEMA called it incredibly dangerous, and then we heard from the EPA that it does not contain concerning levels of hazardous material. Do we have any clarification now? Not yet. Two different stories. And you heard officials earlier today describe uh, the situation as non-toxic, that residents here weren't in danger. And then you have that from environmental officials and then the other statement from FEMA. And so people here, including us, uh, not really sure what to make of that. At the same time, I will tell you, it, it, you look here, it's a, it's a nice day. It's a beautiful summer day here and I don't smell any smoke uh, and I don't see anything in the air. And we're not irritated um, our skin or our lungs at this point. That doesn't mean it's safe here, and we're trying to get those answers from officials. We did have emergency officials treated for, uh, I guess, uh, for uh, inhaling the fumes would be the way to put it. Do we know how many people and how they're doing now? There were 15 deputies, if I'm correct, and many of them went to the hospital as a precautionary measure, and I understand all of them have since been released with, with no major injuries at this point. The good news is, is that this is a very rural area. We're talking about uh, a community of about 2,200 people. Driving down this road here about a mile or so, you only pass four homes. So that's, that's the promising thing. We talked to officials earlier. We asked them, how many people are we talking about affected here? Are we talking about hundreds, thousands? Um, and that person told us dozens. So that's the good news. And it seems like a lot of people got the message. Officials actually went door to door uh, overnight, I believe, encouraging people to leave their homes. Environmental officials are also saying, look, if you don't leave, then stay inside. Don't hang out outside. Stay inside, close your windows, uh, and keep the AC on. And as this fire burns, is, is there any concern that this may be leaking into the water as well? You know, I think people are wondering that as well. Um, there are no flood waters here, but obviously the plant is flooded and a lot of areas in Crosby are flooded. So that's another uh, concern that, you know, these folks I was talking to earlier today um, were asking me, but I don't have an answer for you as to whether or not that's actually happening. And, and as far as containing the chemicals, do we know right now, I, we've heard that they'll, it'll keep burning there, but is Arkema doing anything to contain the chemicals? Well, fire officials said they were taking a defensive posture, meaning they're standing back as this is ongoing. I understand that one of these containers, they're all held in these sort of 18-wheeler containers uh, on the facility property. One of them went, there were two explosions, there was the fire, but there are concerns that there could be uh, eight more fires with these other containers um, throughout the day. And so right now, fire officials are saying we're, we're standing back, we're taking a defensive posture, and essentially it seems like they're gonna let this Thing, ride itself out.
And I, I'm certain that this will be a question that comes up in the in the coming days. I'll ask you, maybe we got an indication from those Arkema officials. Have they talked at all about the preparations that they made for this storm? Not uh, in great detail, uh, but they briefly touched on that. They said that this is something they had planned uh, on or planned for, that this is sort of uh, one of the emergency situations that they take into consideration, that this 1.5 um, square mile uh, zone is, is, is part of that. But beyond that, uh, it's, not entirely, um, it's not entirely clear, Dana. Well, Kenneth Craig, we certainly appreciate the report. We know the situation is changing, difficult to get some information out there, but we appreciate the very latest. Kenneth Craig in Crosby, Texas.